Rico's Cafe is never dull, always filled with friendly customers filling their tip jar. Downtown people are generally pretty trustworthy and friendly. Cameron never shook his head at a customer taking out until now. He kind of stuttered for a little bit, stumbled over his words, asked if we had an application. He's scared out of the snag a few times before cameras catch the grab and go act this job applicant pulls right here. He watched me go by, waited till my back was turned, just walked up to the counter, looked around, looked behind him to see if there was anybody looking grabbed the tip jar and just put it in his bag, walked away, nobody saw him. Though he didn't put world's least observant thief on his resume, you can bet he won't be getting an interview thanks to this new headshot. If he comes back in with the application, then he's either stupid or really brave, and I assume it's probably the, the former. And he didn't exactly win the lottery with that jar. It's not like we're rolling in the money, you know, I mean, this is part of our, our hourly wage. But their friendly customers took to Facebook. Some showed their support, others displaying their disgust. Well, I was kind of shocked to think that somebody would do that. I think it's just rude. For now, they've put security measures in place in the form of some string. Well, we had a lid on the jar, so he couldn't reach in. And that was the reason we had the lid is because people had done that in the past. Now we actually have a, a string tied to our, our tip jar. So. And you can bet if he has the guts to return to Rico's, this backpack stuffing stealer won't be getting the cheery customer service baristas like Cameron are used to. If I saw him in here, I would call the cops. If I saw him in the street, I don't know. I mean, part of me you know, would want to confront him, but the other part of me would think it's 20 bucks. They're just hoping there won't be a sequel to this video hit.